Hi, you guys, guess what I got? I got Battle of the Boxes. I have Boxy Charm. Ta da! And Glossy Box. So, Boxy Charm, Glossy Box. Let's do, let's do Glossy Box. I always do Boxy Charm first. Let's do some Glossy. Glossy, Glossy. All right, so pink box. Let's see what's inside Glossy Box this month. I've been kind of uh, sucking lately when it comes to looking for subscription spoilers and things like that. So, oh, cute. So here is the inside. It's got a nice colorful card in here this month. Um, okay, I'm not gonna look at it because it kind of gives little hints and I don't know what's inside the box. So I don't need to open it yet. All right. I see some stuff that I'm not too keen about, but here is the box. All right, first thing I'm gonna pull out is some shower gel. It says Indelicate Jasmine. Oh, I don't even need to open it. I can, I can feel it, it's sticky, it's everywhere, so. Ugh, gross, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that, I hate that. So it's just um, a jasmine shower Oh, shower oil, not a shower gel. It's a shower oil. Okay, uh, the next thing in here is from Sinful Colors. This is the Sinful Shine. This is the Step 2 Top Coat. Um, I don't like getting drugstore brands in boxes that are more than $10 just because, um, you know, you can get this for like $2, $2 $3 or something like that, and I prefer to have like a, a nice polish that um, maybe I don't have access to or something like that. Like if I have access to it, I could just go to the drugstore and get it. Then I'm like, uh, I wish I would have gotten something else, but that's okay. Um, it's a top coat. So, um, at least it's not a certain color where I may not like it. And I can use this on any other shade that I, you know, that I'm going to use. So next is from Ico. This is a fat eye stick. Oh my gosh, everything that is in this box is gross and sticky from that shower oil. I'm not sure the shade because I looked all the, way, all the way around it and I don't see a shade. It just says intense color with a glossy finish. I don't know if the shade is in satin, but it says satin there somewhere. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. It looks kind of brownish in the container, but when you put it on, it's more silvery in color. So whatever. Everything is sticky. Ugh, gross. Okay, next is called a Miracle Mist from Leighton Denny. It's speed drying for nail polish. Okay, pretty cool. That's weird because they give you the top coat for this is like a top coat for gel polish, and then you get a speed drying spray, which I thought the gel um, polish dries a lot faster faster than regular spray. Uh, Sorry, this little thing popped off. Okay, so I'll definitely try this out. I've never tried this before. I heard a friend of mine at work talking about some kind of spray that she uses for her nail polish to dry. Um, I hope it doesn't leave like little doodads on your nails because that would be not good. All right, next, this is called Glove, or from Glove, Hydro Derma, I don't know, say. Quick treat, innovative microfibers, makeup, remove makeup only with water. Okay, so it's like a dry sheet in here and then you can use it to remove all your makeup. So It says on the card that this is reusable. So it just says to wash it off, um, let it dry and then reuse it. So $5, okay. It's interesting because it says um, that it fits on your finger. So I don't know if this is like a little I don't know if it goes all the way across your fingers and you can use it to scrub this way. That would be cool. That would be nice. Last thing we have is a sheet mask and this is from Fango. Can you read it? Fango. Um, moisture with avocado kelp and acai berry. A remedy for parched, dry skin, help nourish and deeply moisturize. Very cool. Five, oh, it's only a five minute mask. I don't know, are masks normally five minutes? I don't wear them often, so I'm not sure. Anyway, it says it's for all skin types. All right, moving on to BoxyCharm. Let's see, BoxyCharm feels a little bit heavy this month. I like that. All right, it looks nice. No, I'm kidding, it doesn't, it looks empty. 
um but everything looks like it looks like there's something big on the bottom i like that all right first thing let's take off this oil treatment it says it's pyt argan oil from morocco um i do really like hair oils i use them every single day so ooh, this smells like it smells like men's cologne almost interesting um, next we have, oh, I've gotten stuff from Noya before. Oh, what did I get from Noya? I think it was like a skin treatment. This is a lip color in Malbec. I don't have any more lip color on since I just got home recently. Ooh, this is pretty. This looks almost like, it reminds me of Tarte packaging. You know how sometimes it has like the bamboo on the top? This is really, really pretty. I'm going to give you a nice little close up of this one. It's so pretty. It's got like um, I forgot what those little blooms are, those Japanese flowers, but really pretty. And the color looks really nice. I'm going to put it on and let's see. This is super lightweight, really buttery smooth. It's It looks like it was going to be a super loud color and it's not, which I really, really like. So very cool, really pretty. Malbec is the color. It's a lip gloss. That's what it says, lip gloss. A natural lip gloss made without sulfates, parabens, and phthalates. Packaging is composed of earth-friendly bamboo. This is neat. This is Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner by Mally, and this one is in the shade Ice Blue. I, I don't know if I'll ever use this color, but it's pretty cool. If anything worse comes to worse, I can always use it for Halloween. So I just added it to the inner portion of my under eye. So. I don't know, try something different. It's an icy blue for sure, so it's a great color. Ice blue is very appropriate for the shade. That's exactly the perfect description. Very cool, a Z palette. I don't have one, and I actually have a few shadows and things like that that are loose in a drawer. I'm gonna take off this little paper here. So it says Ofra Pro. So I'm guessing these are Ofra, yep, they're Ofra shadows. All right, the shades in here, I'm not exactly sure how they go, but it's Bohemian, Buttercup, Smoke, Iron, Truffle, and Millennium Gold. Very awesome. So they're costing this at $60, um, and that is for the six shadows and the palette. They're saying that um, each shadow is normally $10 for the pan, for each pan. So $60 for each pan plus this, so they're costing $60 all together, all in one. So this month's box is $123. It's 11 bucks each charm. Sometimes, I, you know, sometimes every once in a while it's not what I like and not every box is gonna be what I like. And then other times it's fantastic and phenomenal. So, I mean, it just depends on each and everyone's liking, obviously. Um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get some of this stuff off of me. I'm wearing white jeans. I definitely don't want all this shadow and stuff all over. So excellent box from BoxyCharm. All right, so um, glossy box, mm, it's okay. It's not my favorite for sure, for sure. It's actually, mm, nah, that's exactly how I feel about glossy box this month. And BoxyCharm, man, that palette is awesome. I cannot wait to use it in the morning before I go to work. The lip color, love it. Hair oil, love it. And I actually like that ice blue liner that I put under my eyes. So I think it did definitely brighten up the eyes a little bit. So it's an awesome box for BoxyCharm. All right, you guys, that is it. Super happy with this month's Battle of the Box. BoxyCharm is always like this compared. Uh, they barely, it barely goes like this. It's always like this. Even if it gets a little close one month, you know. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye.